Today I'm going to show you how to strap a paddleboard and a kayak on top of your vehicle to prevent them from flying off your vehicle when you're traveling down the road. For a step-by-step -step guide on how to just strap a paddleboard or a surfboard to your vehicle, please see the link down below for another one of my videos. And for a video on how to strap just a kayak to your car, please see the link down below in the description. So in addition to a kayak and a paddleboard and a vehicle, you will also need these foam kayak blocks. They can be found at any sporting goods stores such as Bass Pro, Cabela's, Dick's Sporting Goods, etc. You will also want a pair of heavy duty straps with waxed ends, which are preferable. You don't have to have waxed ends, but it'll make your life a lot easier. These are also for sale at surf shops and at sporting goods stores as well. I have also seen people use ratchet straps and those can definitely work. You also want to have a roof rack or sports racks. Make sure it fits your car before you order it. All right, and then you're gonna grab your paddle board and take it over to your vehicle. Depending on the size of your board, this can be a two person operation. When I do this by myself, I usually just hoist it above my head and then use my skull and arms to place it on top of my vehicle. And then once you get your paddleboard placed evenly on top of your vehicle, you're gonna wanna grab the foam kayak blocks and then place them on top of the paddleboard. These should ideally be placed right over the sports rack bars. And if you're short like me, you're gonna have to open your door and step into the car to give yourself height. I prefer this to a step stool because it's a lot more sturdy. Once your foam blocks are placed evenly, you're going to want to grab your kayak. Typically, this is a two person job, depending on the height of your car, your strength, the size of your kayak, etc. If you have two people, you each want to grab the strap on your end and lift. You're gonna need two hands for this. And make sure your kayak is centered evenly on top of the foam block. And don't forget your paddles. You can place these inside your vehicle, but I prefer to have these right next to my boards just because of their length. And now begins the strapping. Now, because I am short, I do open up my car and stand inside of it just to get a better view and a better stand. So you're gonna want to take the buckle side and then just slide it underneath the bar and then just wad up the rest of the strap and throw it to the other side while leaving the buckle on your side. And then you just saunter over to the other side of your vehicle, snatch up the remainder of the strap. You want to make sure the strap is straight and flat. This will decrease the amount of noise that you'll hear on the road from the wind flying underneath everything, especially the straps. Then take the strap and pull it underneath the bar or sports rack. Make sure it's flat. Flatten out the remainder of the strap and then throw the rest over the top of the kayak. Then go to the other side of the car, grab the strap that you just flung over and make sure it is straight and flat. Then you're going to take the remainder of the strap and then slide it through the buckle. Make sure you do it as tightly as possible. And now you will keep pulling as tightly as possible. You can pull pretty tightly since the foam block is going to be quite flexible. You do not want either the kayak or the paddle board to be even slightly loose. And then I take what's left of the strap, I loop it around the bar one time, and then place the rest into my car. I found that if it's flat and straight on the strap, the less wind and less noise there is. And now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I do like to alternate the buckles so one buckle is on one side of the car and the other one's on the other. You don't have to do this. This is just my per personal preference and I think it's better for balance. All right, and now you're going to pass the buckle underneath one of the bars, grab the remainder of the strap and then toss it over the kayak to the other side and then make sure the strap is straight pretty much up until from underneath the bar up until the top of the kayak and then when you get to the other side you can straighten out the rest of the strap now migrate to the other side of your car straighten out and flatten the strap as much as possible now slide the rest of the strap underneath the bar and make sure it is flat and straight and toss the rest of the strap to the other side of the car 
Make sure it is flat and straight. Run over to the other side of the car, grab the strap, flatten it out, and pull it down toward the buckle. Pull down as tight as you can go. And then pull up on the strap when it's through its buckle. Make sure there is no looseness. And then pull up on the strap until you cannot pull up anymore. Once you've tightened the strap as far as it can go, you want to check your equipment for looseness. Push on the board, try lifted, lifting it up, and same thing with the kayak, push up on the kayak. Try pushing the board and kayak back and forth. If they move at all, you need to tighten more. You don't want anything to be loose, so that way it won't go sliding off when you have to slam on your brakes on the freeway or go flying off in the wind. And then once again, you want to loop the excess piece of strap under and then over your bar and then place the rest of it inside the car. Now, some people do strap a rope to the front and end of the kayak and then strap it underneath their car or hook it underneath their car. I have personally not done this in about five years. I haven't found it necessary if I strap down the kayak securely enough. It's not a canoe, so I don't really think it's necessary, but you can do whatever you want with your equipment and your vehicle. I have been strapping kayaks, paddle boards, surfboards, etc., to various vehicles and roof racks for about eight or nine years now. I haven't had anything fly off yet, so hopefully this will work for you. And that's everything. Links to examples of some of the products, such as the straps and the foam blocks, are in the description, as well as videos on how to strap up surfboards alone or how to strap on kayaks onto your car alone. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.